Okay guys, this is the brand new Belkin iPhone mount with MagSafe. I've been waiting for this so I can use my iPhone 14 Pro Max as a webcam. This is also known as continuity camera. Let's go ahead and open this. I purchased this from the Apple website. It comes in just under 30 pounds. Not only does it just mount your phone onto your MacBook Pro, but you can just use it as a handle for your phone if you just wanna place it down on the desk and use that to watch movies, for example. But let's take a look at the Belkin mount. And already I can feel it's not too lightweight. It might be heavy duty. It comes in two colors, but I got the one in black. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. So you have the silver clip there. This one is basically just to use your phone as a mount on the desk, or if you just wanna hold your phone by putting your finger through it like that. The main thing for the webcam is this tiny little slot here that pops out with the Belkin logo on it. And then you just place this on top of your MacBook Pro. So let's try it with my iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I'm just gonna place this on that. And it's actually a very, very strong magnet, much more stronger than a lot of the MagSafe accessories like my car mount and any other mounts that I use. This one actually really holds it quite well. Even if I do a lot of shaking, it will not fall off. Of course, I don't have a case on this and most likely all of you guys watching will have a MagSafe compatible case on your iPhone. So I will showcase this with the case and without the case just to show you the strength as well. If I just wanted to use this just to prop my phone like this, watch something on there, maybe I'm on the train to work, then that's absolutely great to do. And it doesn't take up too much space. So I feel like this is a very nice compact way to maybe just use your phone and you can actually just twist it however you like to get it comfortable. But if you wanna use it for a webcam, which you might be purchasing this specifically for, then this has to be set in a specific way so that the camera and the lenses face you when you're using your laptop. So let's go ahead put this onto my MacBook and see how this performs as a webcam. Okay, as I mentioned, make sure this is mounted the right way around so that the lenses are facing you. Just going to pop this out. It's a very tiny little rubberized grip on that and it places very well and very quickly and easily onto your MacBook Pro. Of course, you need to make sure your screen is angled the right way so that this doesn't fall off. There's only like maybe a certain amount that you can move your screen backwards and forwards before this may fall off. So don't go too far back. I would say just keep it at maximum. Let's do a distance test. And of course, if you are looking down on your screen, then I would say maybe no further than that, just to keep it secure. You don't want to damage your phone. I'll just move it back up a little bit. There we go. And now you can use this with FaceTime, with Zoom. It just pops up automatically on your video settings as your iPhone camera. So you can just switch it very easily. Two ways to use it. First of all, you need to make sure that the phone is locked and it is in a horizontal view like this. That's the only way it will pop up as a continuity camera. And secondly, you need to make sure you have iOS 16 on your iPhone or higher. And you also need to have macOS Ventura, i.e. 13.0 or higher. Without those two, if you have any of them that's lower versions than that, then this will not work for continuity camera. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and open up a Zoom call. Okay, so right now this is using the internal FaceTime HD webcam on my MacBook Pro. So what I'm going to do is now switch over to my iPhone camera, which you can see is there selectable. Look at the difference in this quality. Using the back main lens on this, it's so clear and it's probably the highest quality webcam you're going to get on the market if you're able to use your phone like this. It was so quick and easy to do that. And once I start using this as my webcam to do all of my meeting calls, then I know people on the other end are gonna be so shocked at how clear my quality is on my webcam. I think this is just perfect to have. And to be honest, this Belkin mount, they've done an excellent job. There's a lot of third party ones that claim they are MagSafe phone compatible webcam mounts and all this kind of thing. But I don't think any of them are gonna be as high of a quality as this one. One of the other things I wanted to show with the continuity camera is the other features that come with it. If you open up the control center from the top, you go to video effects. You can actually switch between center stage, portrait and studio light. Let me quickly show you this. So center stage, it will kind of keep you in center if you are moving around, which I think is great. If you switch to portrait mode, I'm gonna turn off center stage. 
it just blurs the background a little bit, which is a very nice bokeh effect. It's very smooth and it does a very good job, to be honest. And if you turn that off and go to studio light, it just kind of dims the background a little bit, focuses more highlights onto yourself and it just makes yourself a little bit clearer. So it depends on the lighting in the room if you want to use that. And finally, one of the coolest things, it will switch to the ultra wide view camera is if you switch to desk view and it kind of does like an unboxing top down shot. Let's click on that. So you can actually set where you would like this to be. So I'm just gonna move this back slightly. You can just reduce the size of that. I'm going to align it perfectly there to my desk. Hit start a desk view and look at that. Of course, it does stretch a little bit. If you wanted to maybe read the text, it might not be so great. But if you just wanted to show people quickly and maybe you wanted to use this for shooting some videos to show what's on your desk, what you want to do. This may not be like the best way to do it. I don't think the quality is so great on the desk view. I think the idea that they have of implementing something like this is quite nice, but I don't think it's made to perfection just yet. There's gonna be various different iterations to this. It's not something I would use. I would always have a top-down shooting rig to maybe shoot something like this, but I just wanted to really you know, showcase to you guys how this would look. If you wanted to show anything which has text on it, then I don't know if that would actually be so readable to the users, but nonetheless, it's there as a nice feature or a quick way to show simultaneously while you are being seen with the main camera, what you want to show on your desk. So not too bad. Overall, I think the Belkin mount itself, which is what I'm reviewing today, is an excellent mount. And I actually think it is worth buying. And for less than 30 pounds, normally with the Belkin products, once they are selling on the Apple website, they do come out a little bit more expensive than generally I would pay for, but I think this is very nicely priced. And if you are looking to maybe use your phone as a webcam, you have iOS 16 or higher, and you do have macOS Ventura, then for me personally, this is a must have accessory to have with you on your desk or in your office as well. Final thing, let's go ahead and test this with a heavy duty, non-Apple certified MagSafe case on that, just to see if it holds and is strong enough to do that. And last thing to mention, it doesn't necessarily have to be mounted on top. You can even just have it to the side. You can have it um, this way. And to be honest, it can be at a quite of a distance. They say it has to be quite close to your MacBook for it to work. If I go a little bit further back, let's see where it cuts off. I'm actually about five meters away from the MacBook and it's still working. I actually didn't know this, so this is quite a nice surprise. So in fact, you don't even need to be so close to your MacBook. You can even just walk around and just use your phone in your hand and showcase people like other things in the room maybe. I just found that out now. I didn't realize that before. I think that's really convenient. I don't necessarily have to be exactly mounted on my MacBook, so not too bad. So you can actually be a bit more versatile, be more flexible and move around with this. Okay, I now have my iPhone case. It may look like an official MagSafe case, but in fact it's not. It's just a third party one that I got from Amazon. And even then the magnetic hold on this is super strong. It's just like without using the case at all. Quick pop on there and you're ready to go. So it works in all scenarios. I'm very happy with this. There's not much more else I can say. I do recommend this. If you really like to use your phone as a webcam, must have, check it out. Link is in the description. If there's anything you guys want to know about this Belkin mount, then drop a comment down below. If you like this review and you like all things related to iPhone, I have new videos out all the time. I review tech and gadgets every week as well, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.